Good day, Ender 3 friends. I created a nifty little bearing that just slides on, and a user said, hey, that's really cool, but I don't have any bearings. Which reminded me that a while back, I designed a print-in-place bearing where it prints all in one piece, and then will snap on, and we'll be able to spin just like a real bearing is. Of course, not quite as efficient as a normal bearing is, but the bearings I bought were pretty cheap anyhow. So this is kind of cool. You can see I just popped off that side and you can see that that bearing is totally loose and the middle is still fastened. Let's pop off the rest. And there is our print in place bearing that spins just like you'd expect uh, a normal bearing to. And the longer you use this one, the better it'll spin. And if you watched my previous video, this actually spins better than the cheap bearings that I had bought for my spid <laughs> for my spidget spinners, for my fidget spinners back in the day. And it should, because of my design, snap right over this little part. And with a little bit of force, you can get it to snap in and she'll spin just like she's supposed to. Alright, so I could not get it to slide over the uh, last two millimeters. Uh, and this one was a broken one anyways that I was just uh, when I was first building. So I am going to upload one with a extra half millimeter gap and then I'll also make the whole design so it can print all at once and you don't even have to attach the part. But if you need a bearing, that might be your solution. Friends, thanks for watching. If you like the movie, please click the like button. If you're interested in subscribing, please hit subscribe. If you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from HL Mod Tech, please click the notification bell. And as always, I love when you add comments down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, friends.